All right. What's going on, bros? Good to see you, and welcome to the Empire. How do I know what level Merc I'm buying off the auction house? Do I look at the max level example? 120, yes. So 120 means that it is a level 60, right? A 110... Uh, a 110 means that it's a level 50. Um, but if you look at them, you see how it's kind of got the roundishness to it? That means it's a general, unfortunately. And you see how this one doesn't? So this is a regular one. Better than a 120 gold. Yes and no. Right? It, it really matters. The border... There's a, a percentage increase. Like, so a general with the good border um, versus one without, they, they're going to have less PvE damage, less PvE damage reduction, right? Um, so if they have the good border, they're going to do better damage. They're going to be better at crafting. They're going to be better at even mining. So you really, if you're buying on the auction house, you only want to buy generals. Don't even fuck with anything else if you can help it. Especially if it's a mercenary to help you kill things. It's a huge difference. Um, and then what else What else matters? The 50 to 60 um, isn't that big of a difference. General's not going to be in the name, no. It's going, you see the... This yellow goldenness around here, how it's round, that's what you're looking for. If you look at like this one, how it doesn't have that golden, and then there's one in between that, which I don't have a version to show you, because all of mine are generals, right? Except for this other one. So you look at this square, and if it doesn't look like this, you don't want it, okay? And look for the level cap. It, it's okay if it's 110. I'd say that's the lowest I go. Right? 110 is fine. But after you have general, what matters is this. The warrior skills and whether they have a rage. And whether or not they have um, celebrate prematurely. You do not want celebrate prematurely. You can deal with some other weaknesses. But that's a non-starter for me. Um, and you want a, a decent rage if you can get it. And depending on what you're looking for, traits. Um, all of these skills, the combat skills, you can train them if need be. Right? You can make them into whatever you want. Um, what is the effect of Celebrate Prematurely? Um, celebrate Prematurely... Um, when the weapon's durability below, falls below 50%, the weapon has a small percent chance, um, starting 15% chance to destroy the weapon, which is just terrible, right? It means that you're going to be running through weapons way more than you should be. Um, so that's the only one, that's the worst one. Also, Dull Wit. Dull Wit Celebrate Prematurely are the ones that I just won't mess with. Simple-minded sucks. It lowers XP, but they'll eventually hit cap, right? That's fine. After your max level, you're if it, you're going to be in a month. The NPC you get today, you may still be drilling. You know what I mean? And even if they're at five star, all the things you want. So that um, proficiency bonus is end game, right? Proficiency gather is is end game. Oh look. Like, Asuna's here chilling. Thank you, Asuna. I'll let you handle minutes. Um, for you and for them. Durable armor is pretty bad, too. Yes. Um, but it's... There's things to counteract it. And depending on what they are doing, like, if they're ranged, maybe I'm okay with durable armor, right? They're not going to be in there. Depends on what their, their role is, right? is what I'm willing to... It's not a non-starter. 
it is a possible forget about it but it's uh, the celebrate prematurely and dull with are non-starters for me for sure